Hare Krishna, please accept my humble obeisances, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. I wanted to share with you a really um, important Srila Prabhupada memory. Um, it's from Govinda Devi Dasi, and this is something that many um, people like David Icke and this kind of people have already talked about, that this behind the government in this world there are actually extraterrestrial demons. And many other books, also the Quran talks about Chayatin, the Bible talks about fallen angels. So the, these beings are called, in the Vedas, they're called Asuras or demons. And they're living uh, in the lower planetary system. According to the Vedic cosmology, they are, the earth is like the center, the earth planet is the center. And there's, uh, above there are higher planets and below are lower planets. And the higher planets are inhabited by demigods or beings who uh, worship the supreme god Vishnu. And the lower planets uh, below the earth are inhabited by powerful demoniac beings who are against God, against Vishnu. So, let me just read Govinda Dasi. <coughs> Srila Prabhupada sometimes said that a beer-like race of beings had come from a lower planetary system and were attempting to take over the earth planet. This bear-like race of Asuras had established themselves in Rus Russia and by promoting communism, a form of atheism, they were determined to convert the world to godlessness. Formerly, in Vedic times, the land of Russia was known as the land of Rishis. It was known as Rishia. The region was populated by many yogis and sadhus who went to the mountains of the Himalayas and beyond to perform penances and austerities in the frozen terrain, far away from the hubbub of worldly life. Srila Prabhupada knew that there were <coughs> those in Russia who were descendants of such rishis and would have the Sukriti to take mightily to Krishna consciousness. Yet they were being suppressed and even tortured by the godless Asuric race that had overtaken the political system of Russia. Those same Asuric leaders were also keen on overtaking the political systems of other countries, closing their churches and poisoning their children with <laughs> government schools that taught only Darwinism and other forms of atheism. In this way, the communist political machine planned to permeate the world with the poison of atheism. This was a serious threat to the future of the Earth planet. Srila Prabhupada often expressed concern for Russia and for the suffering people there. It was almost as if he were tuned in to the sufferings of the saintly people in that iron-clad country. Because of the Iron Curtain, as it was called, practically no interaction with the West was allowed. The Iron Curtain was firmly in place after World War II and anyone who tried to escape to the West could be shot at various checkpoints. The Asuras had successfully sealed off an entire country, country from the influence of the rest of the world and were busily indoctrinating the helpless citizens with brutish atheism. End of quote. Reference Hare Krishna Hawaii by Govinda Dasi. So Govinda Dasi <coughs> is a very uh, nice devotee. She spent many time personally with Prabhupada in, in close association. And I think this adds a lot of credibility uh, to, this, to this testimony. And we can see now that it's actually taking place. All the government schools, they're indoctrinating the, uh, the children with Darwinism as if it's a so-called fact. But it actually doesn't make absolutely... If you think logically about Darwinism, it makes absolutely no sense. It's just, you know, because they misuse this authority position, that's this way they can push it on the... Um, Population, because if somebody like in an authority position simply says something, most people will just accept it, because it's coming from the authority, and they generally have this tendency to blindly follow the authority, authority so-called authority. So here we have the proof from the Guru Parampara <coughs> that this is actually a fact, and that behind this communist movement is a demoniac force from a extraterrestrial source. It wants to plunge the world into godlessness, and the only hope is Krishna consciousness or God consciousness. 
So unless people practice God consciousness, then these demons will um, become more and more powerful. But if people take to chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra and reading of Prabhupada's books, then uh, this Sanketan Yagya will give strength to the divine forces. Hare Krishna.